talk about info types in a SAP S4 HANA or anything inside SAP the info types are very important okay so here the fact that we are going to cover is let's go to the system mm -hmm. let's go to system we log out log in it okay i think this is the problem close this now to work so let's go let's make this big okay so let's go to the powerpoint where is the powerpoint uh here yeah so this is the powerpoint so everything in sap hr the 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 tables are called info types okay so the info types are tables that starts with the the letters p a and then followed by a number so you have personal data you have address these are some of the info types most popular info types because there can there are thousands and thousands of info types so we are going to cover the most important ones okay personal data then you have the addresses then you have bank data then you have challenge then you have personal data which is the info type 2 then is family related information okay whether your daughter your son is born your wife is there your wife is divorced or something internal medicine service personal actions actions info type then organizational data cost distribution info type 27 organizational assignment i think info type 1 2 21 28 4 these are very important so then the reference personal number more or less not so sales data related with sales things very important then contractual and corporate agreements those are important company instruction 35 corporate function 34 internal controls important 32 i think important stuff are payroll data because if you don't have salary you will not work for this and then there are stuffs on the a on the travel and expense side there those are important stuffs so this is now what we are going to do now we'll go and hit the system you might say what the heck is this going to our info types so what we are going to do is we go to sc 16 okay and we'll see some info types okay so we go pa four zeros okay and we'll see we'll make this go from german okay sorry settings we'll put field labels okay use the parameters and we'll make it field labels so we'll see english okay so here you see personal number and other stuff so uh, we'll take one personal number and we'll see the different info types okay but for that we have to go pa find that's the display okay for info types if you click here and you see all these things already full okay now here you can see you you just need to hit click display and you will know what happened okay so these are actions info types okay so you see this was done hiring so first a person needs to be hired in order to work in your company then you can do the other sums Le leaving organization reassignment re-entry into companies because these are very important stuffs if you don't want re-entry a person who has left the company starts joining you can assign the same personal number and you can keep the person's history of it because it's very important for hr to know about his history whether he has some uh, issues with other candidates whether he has and it's also important to analyze the data how many people are getting rehired all the time re-entered because they might be leaving the company for uh, one year trying to get a jump and they can get the training and probably based on that then the company can say you know we'll keep the employees happy rather than they leave and they come back with a high salary something like that 
which is not beneficial for both the person, both the employee as well as the employer. So, so they can take that rule, take that decision based on this data. Okay. So then you, he's, he can be leaving, he can be getting a promotion. Okay. He was a manager, he's now a director in another org unit. Uh, so, and you know, you have re-entry into company. So these are the actions. Now, here, if you click on this, uh, it will show in a different format. Okay, now let's see the other uh, other portion of that. Uh, the other info types of this are of this personal number. So you can click on this now and we can do the same thing. You click on display. Okay. And here you can see all the org assignment, the position, the, the percentage, the job key, the org unit, the org key, and all those things. You can all see these things. Okay, now if he has multiple, he can have multiple stuff because he is working as in two positions. It may happen. That's why you can have it like this. And also sometimes you have different, um, you can do a deal of it of this. So these are very important stuff that you can do all the time. So, so here, if you see what is changing here, if you notice is the start date and end date. So let's go to the, we'll go back again completely. Okay, and we'll see. Here, we'll go display. And here, the first one that showed is having a date from and to date, see. It's 114 to this. Okay. This was changed. This this is the thing. He's a personal employee group. He's permanent. He's some employee subgroup is full time and all those things. Now here you see he has another position that this. Does he have another position? No, he doesn't have any. So if you click on arc structure, here you can see his positions. So that will be everything is hidden. That's the problem. So let's bring this in. Let's bring this in. Yeah, now you can see he's an innkeeper observation, and this is his different position IDs. So, yeah, you see. So now let's go and we'll see you have the sub area, you have the legal person, the business area. These are very important stuff on the HR world okay now we can see you can see the personal data so the personal data would be confidential right so here you can see these are the personal data he has so this is the person this is the birth name you can put second title you can put the birth date and all those things these are so you can put the nationality city of birth, whatever you can, is very important. Now, sometimes you might say, does the address matter? Yes, it matters because sometimes the place where you're living matters because your tax bracket changes. Probably if you stay in California, you get benefits for your lunch and other stuff. So those things are very important. You know, tax is very, is very complex. So HR has to adhere with the tax of the different companies, different states, different county, different region. It's very, it's very convoluted, you know, and these are very important stuff that you have to adhere to. Then you have this address where you can say, this is my permanent residence. You can have lots mailing address. This is my next employer. You can do a lot of things. Ticket address, paycheck location, permanent residence, place of residence. You can think of anything and everything. Okay, very important, okay? So this is how you see all this data. So this is, now what I'm showing, these are all info type data, okay? Uh, we'll show, and then let's go to the bank. Of course, you're working for, not for free, you're working for money, right? So here you can divide your thing, main bank, okay? This, this guy is only one bank, but lots of people, you can put multiple banks here. Uh, someone pays the mortgage, someone pays the car loan, someone pays the student loan and all those things. You can do all these things. And then you can mention the pay method. Pay method is generally wire or ACH. 
but you can put check you can put i don't know but they give cash now or not depends upon the company i, I don't think in us they give cash now okay so it's it's check you see cash payment you know what probably gives now that direct debit and all those things it's mostly check direct debit bank transfer those are the way to go so here there is some other stuff you can do is uh let me see let me go to that uh, family family what was family so here if you want to search for info types here you can search the info types so if i try to find dependent Twenty-one. Okay, so twenty-one. I so this one twenty-one. I want to probably create. Okay, so what I'll do is we were in P A third P A twenty, which is the display P A thirty is a change. So here, if you see, <clears throat> so here you can see this will going to create. So info type. Um, so here you can mention your spouse, you can mention your son, you can mention your daughter, you can mention your domestic partner, whatever you want. You'll see, we'll show what are the different types of uh, partner type you have here. So, so it's churning, churning, and these are very important stuff generally. It's employee sell service creates clear take care of this. The employees fills it up. It's not the HR team who fills it up. So uh, in rare cases they do it. Okay, but most of the time these are confidential information that should not be shared. So it's you who is be changing it, like the bank information, social security in US. CPF in Brazil, I don't know, PAN card in India, there are so many stuffs you have in different countries. It's amazing how SAP could build something that fits every country. So if you're trying to hire, um, hire an employee in US, the social security is necessary. Uh, if you want to hire a person in India, the the, the pan card or the other card is necessary i don't know uh, then in brazil it's cpf i don't know every country will probably have some way of identifying an of a person you know uh, i don't think pers passport number will be one because it changes mm, but uh, that's the way it is let me create a new session this is taking some time okay now all these things that i'm showing these are all info type so if you notice we were talking about p is equal to zero one of that uh, what was the personal number two four so here we will search and the system is a little slow but it will come up soon and okay it's searching okay here two, Let's just execute. Sorry. Uh, function right. Okay, and here we were playing with this one. So if you see, there is two records. Okay, so if I double click on this, this is the table view. Okay, so if I double click on the this, I'll get more data out of it. Ooh, does not exist. It says. Ooh, input type does not exist. It says. There's some a uh, security issue let's say so here we see 22 so if you see these are all the data we have now let's see why it says it doesn't exist uh yeah there it exists but since i don't have the security probably that's why it doesn't exist but it doesn't show anything Block indicator subtype. Let's see what fields we have here. Mm. Security control. 
type family member mm. so you see you have gender you have country of birth yeah these these are family member I want to see what are the different types of I remember we used to check what are the different allowed type of partners you have probably oh, this is the one yeah probably so here you see spouse divorce spouse father mother domestic partner child or domestic partner registered partner brother sister all these things you can add okay so these are different so sap has <laughs> has found everything and uh, that's the way you can you know and sometimes based on this the you know the paycheck is divided so it's important you might be laughing what's the use of it it's very important because you can allocate your thing your salary through this you know so through the bank and all those things so these are important stuff so that's that's the thing for this portion of the now if you see these are all the info types now let's see we had other things that we can see so if you notice we go to SC16 we go to PA and we have so many info types so I think the info type looks better in that other screen so we'll go there we go to PA20 hmm? I don't know Zero seven is mm, let's see. I know info type one zero five is very important communication info type. So zero uh, zero status three very important. Let's see. Does this person have something? Probably not. So, if the payroll status is locked, the payroll record here. You see, there is sync personal number locked. Then this guy is not going to get paid. <laughs> okay, so it's very important these things. So you want to, you know, you can give bonus information and other stuff. So payroll. Let's try whether we can create a payroll thing for this guy. Uh, PA thirty. Okay, now we go to payroll will create uh already exists choose change okay okay the change this record exist with empty data and here we can say the date we put this date run up payroll up to Do not account for and we saved it oh, I don't want to keep this update. so we saved it so so we got the record so now if we go here and click display again So you see the payroll status we just created and it got updated. Didn't it create it? No. Didn't save it or what? No, we didn't save it probably. So we now go here. Yeah, so you see the date has come. So it was not refreshing and it, I didn't save it. So this is another important info type that you want to you want to be aware of. Um, then there is this um, info type communication. So that's 0105. Uh, very important. 
okay we'll see whether we have something if not we'll create one mm -hmm. so we don't have so let's go try to create one So here you can see you can mention a username. Okay, so I'll put my username here. You can put put a username student. So you know okay. So I save it. Now you can create another type which is the CSEC logon name, employee center logon name then we have uh, another is the email address okay so here you can put an email address at abc at gmail.com okay it's generally it should be a company address but, you know, we're just playing in a system and you can put this email address and all those things so here now you might say what you did and here we can try to create another one and if you notice there is some things that they have added in sap s4 hana okay Let's see. still saying and you have for H hr stuff you have you have a date okay so if you want to suppose okay let's do this if you want to create a new one see I'll show you something uh, the dates are very important so here the date was this now I'm going to change it the date to this and it would be abcd at gmail.com uh, email now you might say what you did well if you see we'll show you so you have an email from 214 to 1231 okay and if you see the other one okay so got it I want to put it all all quick display let's see not get saved from that Let's see oh yes here it is see you have ABCD and you have ABC so uh, you have two different emails that got saved okay now but for employees let's see let me do zero one and I go to create You can put multiple uh, user IDs. Before the date of birth. Okay. So if you notice, the previous record got deleted. It's showing it got deleted. And now, if I want to see the data here. Before I put student 11, see, it's gone. Now what I can do is here, I go and I click create. And now I put a record with the date of Twenty twenty, and we put suppose this, and we save it with this. See, records value from this to the delimited end. 
So now what I'll show you is uh, click on this and here you will see ideally two entries one the one with student 12 and one with student 11 with two different validity dates so it's thinking and after this we see let me see let me go to the other transition in the meantime okay and i can see display Fresh. You click on refresh. This is still searching. So if you notice here, this is one. Here you see, that's what I was showing. So this has two records. It has to have to delimit. It needs to delimit. You cannot have two users. Two users at the same time assigned to one personal number that's what we did so that so based on the different type the doc type the the subtype you it changes the data okay so this is very important okay now we can i'll just show what more subtype we have okay so let's see the subtypes we have these are some standard subtypes this is a new thing, EC logon name. This is for employee central for success factor. Oh, they have stuff for LinkedIn, Twitter, and other stuff, which is really nice. So this is something that's very important. And this is something that that is related with the social marketing, social, you know, social networking and other stuff. So those things are very important to get into so so then there are other things pager i don't know whether you use cell phone for you for sure you can add so you can think of lots of things you can see blog holy moly that's a lot of things <laughs> uh you have first telephone number at work and other stuff sap2 i don't know what's that but you have linkedin twitter facebook even facebook has made it smart so you know things are very very important nowadays social networking so that's why you know sap also has changed so that was for the communication info type now if i now you might say if i want to see the table how you will get the table so you go to sc 16 and it's the number pa0105 you just need to know these numbers okay <laughs> yeah so here and here you execute think we and it's all created by us only so you can see it would be fun we can put our put some LinkedIn profile there so let's try to do that okay so this was display uh, Wait. so let's go to PA30 and we'll put LinkedIn that would be something fun I like LinkedIn because it has a lot of Potential, I can see, and you know, you learn a lot from them. Uh, 0105, and then you go to subtype, and here you put LinkedIn, and oh, it's processing where. Probably here. Yeah, it's probably. So let's go back and we'll create a LinkedIn profile for this person. We'll create LinkedIn, we'll create a Facebook, and we'll create a Twitter. So let's see. We'll create LinkedIn and we'll create, click create. Mm -hmm. And here you put a, B, C, D. That's fine. 
state date of birth. <laughs> so it's saying that yo, oh, you have a LinkedIn profile that is before the state of birth. So here, if I start to see now the LinkedIn profile, I click on display. Okay. For some reason, this transaction takes some time. So here's system ID. That's, that's nice. Now we'll try to create a Facebook and we could try to create Twitter. So let's try to create a Facebook account. And we'll click on create. And it's the same thing. It's and I'll save it. And now, then after linking, then I'll do mm, the next one is I'll do Facebook, and then the next one is Twitter, and the grid, and we'll put ABCD. So now what we are going to do is we go in this table and here you see all these things has been created. So this is very important. So we showed some of the some of the useful stuff where you will be maintaining your info ties and other stuff for communication. We did for payroll area, we did it for other org structures. The uh, personal numbers. Now, what we can show you another one is another very important one is a travel one. Though people are moving to concur and other stuff, but you know, some piece, some companies still use this travel. And the trend might be coming back when people will use travel again. So, travel profile. This is travel profile. So, I think it's the first one. Travel privileges. So if I go and I click create, so let me see. In the subtitle, you get has some problems so yeah he, you can create your info type there we can go another place we can go to PA 20 and see it okay and here we put 017 and here let's see it says it doesn't exist. That's right. So yeah, this is probably authorization issue where they have said, okay, you don't have the proper authorization. Give this fake error. Okay. So that's that's related with the info types. Let's now go to the PowerPoint. And I want to see some transaction code that you we could be using. So let's see some of the transaction code where we can see stuffs so let's see there is this one which delete user settings ppome we covered pp01 well pp01 is a very strong <laughs> transaction code it's a transaction code that you can build anything and everything from there you might be saying what you're talking about well, if someone says that I want to tell me a transaction code from where you can create anything, or structure and all those things, plant, company code, it's PP01. It's very strong transaction code. Okay. So, so, so you might be asking some question. You might have a question 
in your interview they might ask can, can you have a transaction code where you can create anything uh, and everything from there is pp01 you know so here's you can see this is dark unit and you can see all these things can i create positions oh, let's see do you see i can create positions also so it's it's very powerful it's pretty powerful and i can create a person i can create anything and everything from here so it's like a hidden treasure you shouldn't be having this authorization but you know it's, so if i click on suppose i click on plant right where is plant gone plant so if i click on plant it will open the plant place okay and here will say test and if i click on create you know no object found you know so uh you can click create Let's see. Okay. yeah here you see i can put create a plant from this is very strong and you know so pp01 is a very strong transaction but i didn't usually no one should be having authorization but you know they gave it hey and so let's see it's going for us asking for customizing request and other stuff let me back out completely okay so now another one we see slash nsc 16 is uh the one where we see all the info types you can see the PO here now here we'll show you some uh, standard uh, function model that you can use for determining info types. I remember when I was working with block law, I worked with block law a long lot of time, and info types, these are very important info types that you can search. I think it's info, info types. You see uh, info types here. You have a lot of function models. Let's see. Well, we'll find a proper way of searching this, okay? So we'll do like this, okay? So we'll forget, we'll go here, PA, print. Um, we'll go and click on system. We'll go to status. And we'll go to this program. We go to attributes mm -hmm. and here we we'll get PPAS. That's the package. You know the package contains the function group. Now we go to another transaction. SC84. SC84. Now, after going here, there. We are going to search for um, uh, CD4 function group other objects. Let's see, okay, let's see. here. Oh, look down there. Here it is function. So here you give the package name and you will say or we can just go directly to function model here and we can see control V and execute and we can see all the function model you have okay so here you can see all the standard function model you don't need to code just use the standard function model okay so it's saying get employees from user okay let's see what it says we'll try to just get some execute we'll, we'll execute some okay get user from employees get employees from user okay let's see we'll execute this let's see whether we get anything 
so we execute now and we put uh, student zero one more and if you see you got that personal number we saw it we did it that's why it shows up now so if i want to put another one so you don't need to create programs just use the standard function modules important thing is how to find it and we showed you how to find it now this this doesn't have anything because the begin date is messed up so what we can say we can put the begin date as zero one we execute and now it gives you see you remember we had let me show you in case you are not able to relate what is there so we go to PA20, right? And now here we put 105, which is the communication info type. And this is the user one, okay? SAP user. And we select this one and we display, okay? Here we display it and then we click on the overview. So here, if you see, there is two entries, one with student 11, student 2. See, we got this entry based on this employee, based on this user ID. So that's the beauty of it. So this is one standard function model you should be using to get employees from users. Well, you could have coded with the T, with the reading info type 105 but why you will be coding it when there is something available automatic okay so then you want to see the get users from employee so let's go the other way so you know the employee number is two two zero 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 another thing is the employee id is generally four eight digit so here if you see this is the date and it shows the student delivery. now i want to see everything okay what i can do is i can put this i could have put this to the zero and i execute now and it should give me two entries that's it see we got the thing now let's see you might say okay let's find some other function model there's a tons of function order. I think there is a function model which is generic, which can read any info type. Okay, so that is there. Uh, where is it? Read subtype. What is this? No. Okay, so. You see, I give one info type 105 and it gives me all the subtypes. So, this is very important. So, this particular function model, keep it in your cheat sheet. HR read info type, you just give the info type number and the validity date. And you get all the entries, the, all the LinkedIn profile we created, all the uh, Twitter profile, all the Facebook ones. Did we create Facebook? Oh, yeah. We created. And all the employee IDs, all the email address that is attached to that personal number, we get from this function group. So this is very important. This this is very important function model. Now, these are all hidden treasures that are there to be taken. You just need to go and find it. And this tutorial is helping you how to find it. Now, there is tons of other stuff, you know. You can do, you know, so if I click on read, you can click a lot. So if I click read, yeah, so, you know, there's lots of things you can do from this. Um, this this is just one third the way and there are so many stuffs you can do so you can get calculate the salary stuffs and all those things so 
I would recommend if you are doing coding or if you're writing a functional spec, don't mention the, don't mention, don't tell the, tell the technical guy, hey, use the standard function models. That's the way to best do it. Because this, why you should use standard function models? Because if at all anything changes, SAP will do it in that standard function model. You don't need to be aware of any changes that you have to update in the custom code. So that's why it's very important that you use always standard features in the SAP HR front, okay, in anything. So very easy, we went to PA20, we found how to find the package from the program, and then we go to SA84 and we found all the function models related to that package. And that, that is very, that's how we found all these hidden treasure function models that you can use. Now, can we do it for the programs? Let's see. We can fi probably find some programs that are very useful. So we'll do the same, we'll the package, and we'll execute. And uh, it comes with the descriptions, you know. So, so here you can see all the, you can see a bunch of stuff so you can find out any programs that is probably useful to it, you know. So um, let's see. Join of info types. Let's see this one. HR join of info types. So let's see. Two. So, didn't do anything from the photo selection, and here you have, oh, here you have a bunch of stuff you can find out. Let's see. Position. Mm -hmm. So, for the selection search shop, I click on search shop. Ooh. So, you have a lot of stuff you can do here. Uh, so, this is one program that probably is useful. Join of info types. Okay. Let's go to the other programs. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see. These are standard stuff. So the programs was, you know, not so interesting, but suppose you want to see all the enhancements. So you want to see the enhancements, uh, the uh, the baddies that are created, okay? So if you want to see the baddies, you can go here and we can see the definitions, okay? So we put the same package, we execute, these are all the baddies you can you can do so this is pretty useful where you can put all your custom code and you know uh, like you want to well, while you someone deletes you want to put some more validation that you can do okay so those are very important steps that can be done so this is one and then we have you have customer exits so you go to enhancements so we can put this we'll see if there's anything there we have a bunch the user exit for HR master data user exit for entry date so these are things that you should be using to f using in your day-to-day -day activity because you'll be customizing it you'll change some screens here and there but use it the proper method okay and use all the standard function model that is available so that you can use it properly. Let's now let's go to that uh, this thing. Uh, create organization plan. We haven't seen that piece. Let's see. BP host. 
now it's related with some uh -huh. so is it the same thing yeah it's just the same thing yeah create organization plan okay. that we're not going to do we want to save the internal so this is the same thing and i want to see another thing uh, you want to see some of the workflows that are created so let me see whether we can find workflows from here we have another way to find the workflows okay so let's go we can find it from the rs 16 and then say stable 8 rs 100 rs 100 okay and and we put to star hr star function these are these are some of the workflows that you can use right so these are not true let me make it english i wish i knew german okay so what we can do is we just that we will execute here and once we execute so you can see so many workflows are there. So what we can do now here we have to do WS and here's so many workflows are there and now we can see for ETR. So yeah see all these things are HR. So let's see one of these. HR CH okay salary change object abbreviation so it's the object abbreviation like HR star we execute and these are all the HR related workflows that are available out of the box that you can use so so if you see there's salary change or oh, BP you have entry entry for all funds let's check this one of this workflow salary change one we we'll just see how it looks inside the workflow template because these are important stuff that you have to know also in HR because well HR will have a bunch of workflows and uh, you know you have to understand the workflow so we we go to so let me go slowly went a little fast so what I went EFTC underscore BIS now if you want to know more about the workflows there is another tutorial on workflow which you can check okay so here you can see salary change now well it goes to the manager and goes to someone else these are important most of the time we have standard workflows we try to use most of the process of the standard workflow and then we customized it okay so if you see oh this is a heavy workflow so that goes calculate annual salary Oof. enter exceptional contribution who is entering this so yeah so these things are entered so this is a this is fairly complex workflow because you have info types here and there find basic pay and oops there's nothing so we we'll see the user decisions no nope, there's nothing activity so there's no real approval here so everything is automatic so that's another workflow but you know workflows are meant for approvals as well as automation so so this is some of the workflows that you have out of the box for SAP HR I remember there was a workflow for leave request let's see whether it's there still now uh, 281 I still remember the number 200081 there it is, I think it's still there. And that's the old workflows. 
So it's showing up. Oops, it's taking time. Since it's probably so old. It's probably it was there in R3 in the 90s. In the late 90s, we had this workbook. 281. Two, well, five zeros eighty one. That was for leave request. So let's see. So that's the way you can find a workflow. So what we went, we let me go again. What we did is we went to the table HRS one zero 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 WS and you put this. Another thing this reminded me there is this table very important HRP thousand one. This also stores a bunch of data. So here if I put here if I put person I execute I will get to know all the person's names. So if you see 2004 it's having this this field having this position and all those things. So this is very important. Okay now see this is churning forever. So HRP thousand one is important here you can put S the positions also and you will get all the stuff or positions here. We'll put the org unit. Okay. Uh, the org unit here also we put. Let me see what was the org unit that we created. Okay. So we will go PPOSW and we'll see the test. I love this one. It tells me right away. I don't need to search anything. Okay. So. It's 2528. This is the number. If you see, it's 5. And zero is 528. So we'll go here. And we'll put this number 5. And here you see all the assignments. So here if you see the subtypes. B002 is what? The reports lines 2 and all those things. Here you see this org unit 251. Let me see what it's showing. 251 is assigned to this. So this is the table which tries this. Okay. So this is very important. Okay. So this is one. Let me see that others. Yes. See the lead request for flow is temps. So I remember, so so it's still there in S4 HANA because this is an S4 HANA system. So here you can see the the subtypes and other stuffs. Who changed it? What is it? And all those things. So and if you see, these are the different positions that are assigned. Let's see, is it true or not? Okay. So if you see, these are the different positions: three five nine one three nine. So these are different positions that is assigned. And you might say why this person has three because he's maintained as a chief. That's why probably he's having this 139, 12. And if you see, I was right, manages. So that's why you have two entries for that person. Okay. So this is this is everything on the info type front. It's very important you understand. So, just to summarize on the info type, the uh, info type starts with PA and has a different numbers. We and uh, we discussed how we create info types entries, where how we display the info types. Use the function module. Use some standard. Use standard uh, workflows, and then we discussed about HR two thousand one. So. And also another important part of the info type we saw there's some fields like info type one, subtype one for communication one or five. They have delimit. You cannot have two users assigned to the same person at the same time. So those things you know you have to understand. Okay. And basically, and we also saw rehire priests where people get rehired. After leaving or needs leaving, then he's re entry on mm -hmm. other stuffs, or there's an organization reassignment. So, these are very important stuff, stuffs that we covered through the info types. Okay. And uh, yeah, so, and also we checked some of the uh, function models. 
to read info types we check how to find an employee that's assigned to a person or a, a person assigned to a user id and all those things so using standard standard function model which you should be using we saw some of the workflows how to find uh, the hr workflows through the table hr is 100 and uh, and last but not the least, don't forget about HRP 1001, which stores the uh, relationship. Relationship is very important. We saw uh, when you have a person, a uh, position assigned to an org unit, you get an entry. But the same position, if it's marked as the chief, then you have another entry. So those things are very important stuff that you have to understand uh, in order to code or if you understand in order to build a solution for this okay so that covers everything on the info type front it's very important you understand these processes as well as you'll be using it in sap as well as s4hana